What's going on, Tubes? It's your boy, Black Oni, here with an extremely exciting video for you all. League of Maidens is finally about to approach an open alpha, and I couldn't be more excited, all right? I have been waiting for this game for an extremely long time. Many of you all have been waiting for this game for an extremely long time. We actually had Patrick, who was the lead developer and creator for League of Maidens, on the Black Oni podcast before. Really honored and happy to have that opportunity to do that because a lot of you all have never heard of the game or if you've heard of it, you never really got the details and the context about the game to learn more about why this is an important project for them, but also why it's important for the gaming community uh, overall. We haven't seen too many games that had a lewd undertones uh, done in a way that actually makes the game fun. This is a game that gives you flexibility and options in how you can not only play the game, experience the game, but you can decide whether or not you want to indulge in some of the more sexual aspects of the game. You can pretty much ignore most of that if you want to, but the fact that we have those other options is amazing. So without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. We're going to do our very first look at creating a character, and then at the very end, uh, there's going to be a little surprise. So can't wait to see you all very soon. Black Oni. Uh, let's do intermediate. Enemy attacks increase in difficulty over the course of the first three awakening levels. Hard. Because I like a little challenge. Oh, okay. So, again, this is alpha, right? Like, the game is still in development. There's still plenty of things. The game is made by three people, okay? That's insane. That they were able to do everything that they did. Using Cheat Code Manager requires that you purchase a Cheat Code pack in the shop or sign into a Platinum or higher Patreon account. Alternatively, use the cell phone to activate cheat codes. Okay. I want to see I want to see what this looks like. Nudity for everywhere. <laughs> Breast size maximum. Adult filter. We have advanced settings. All right, so let's take a look at all this. We've got default settings. Resolution, resolution quality, brightness, all that's kind of standard stuff, right? Uh, show frame rate. You can do that if you want. You can run the game at 60, 120, 240, V-Sync on. Uh, advanced settings. You have texture level, so we can turn that up and down as we go. I assume we should be able to do that once the game starts as well. Vegetation distance, volumetric fog, quality, post-processing. All right, cool. We have different color filters as well. That's pretty cool. I love it. Give us options. We have different sound effects. Master volume, key binds, all that makes sense. Uh, actually, I think crouch should be C. Is C being used for anything? Reload? Excuse me? Flies, F. That makes sense. Crouch. I feel like that should be C. Immense. Okay. What is it? A source of immense power. Okay, comic book. If we can harness the energy from this stone, the United Nations can fight off any enemy, foreign or domestic. The power can be so corruptible. The world will be ours to command. Yes. 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 Dude, the visuals, though. This is kind of sick. They have not yet realized their use of the shards will bring about their damnation. Oh, what's this? Humans capable of retaining the power of the shards. Yo, dim 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 has no humans. The shards that make up their Love creation it. stone are merely a housing to contain the destroyers. Unleashed, they will seek to find their new hosts. Oh. And when they do, they will live to serve me. Atonia. The world will be mine, and no one will be left to stand in my way. Well, that's that's quite the intro. Love it. I love the comic book art. We need games like this. We really do. Again? <laughs> the tank. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. Keep them where I can see them. Okay, girl. Okay. The assassin. <laughs> Kawaii AF. Okay, I see you. Please come closer and let me see your injuries. 
the sorceress. Take care. I am always here if you need my services again. And then the Netherian. Assassin. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's sick. The warrior. Such lovely, smooth skin. It the tank. You shall suffer my wrath. Oh my. The healer. Oh. Oh my. You are dazzling. The sorceress. I just wanted you to know somebody cares about you. Not me, but somebody else does, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's treat our assassin. Good lord. Good lord. Um, for now, we're going to do appearance. Holy crap. Base body presets. Look at how much customization there is. Holy crap. This is a game all on its own. Like, I knew this already, but like, it's that much more. It's that much more obvious. Oh, you can change the details of that too. Holy crap. I love it. I love it. People. <gasps> like a cat. Shadow. Oh, okay. Let's make that there. Gloss. I can make them very glossy or not glossy at all, which I think breaks it. Glow. Oh, that's sick. Let's give them a little bit of glow. Let's go to custom shop real quick. Expressions. Body. Let's go body. Uh, okay, here we go. Skin color. Eyeshadow. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got all these options. Let's go with hair first. Let's see what kind of hair options we got. Okay. It's a pretty good hairstyle. It's not bad. We got the bun. We got the special agent. Okay, we got a lot of hairstyles actually. Way more than I thought we were gonna get. I think this is actually probably the hairstyle I'm gonna pick for her. It's pretty close to what she would have. Height. Actually, let's go to face because this is this is like this is important. Okay, we're gonna give her a bigger nose, upper face depth. I don't even know what that means. I'm actually gonna give her no hair for now so I can see this stuff a little bit better. Is ball head option? Try to make her a little bit more realistic. <laughs> the options here are insane. I feel like that's good. And then hair. Body. All right. Oh. Upper arm size. 
All right, give her a little bit of meat. Whoa. <laughs> you can make some gigantic chairs. <laughs> Rest space, 50. Oh, wow. Give him a little bit of, a little bit of heft. 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 38. One. Overall hip size. Upper hip. Okay. <laughs> Sexual preference. Dominant. Outfit color. Oh, okay. Cubic here. I can't even see that. Oh shit. I'm going right into it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Atonement drops. Oh my. Seraph demon. Select the reward collection Tower of the Fallen. Death from above. Zero rewards to claim. I must defeat this boss. Wow. This is sick. I love this so much. Convert fragments. Got yeah, looking pretty much as good as possible. Hey. All right, how do I get up there? Welcome aboard, cadet. Cape vendor. Buy a new cape for a new look. If you've got enough shards, I'd be happy to part ways with my inventory. You can earn shards by completing main and side quests, along with killing enemies. Looking for the fastest way to earn more shards? Let's just go over around here and see if there's a way up. Okay. One to interact is super weird. My name is Aiko. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, all that. Ah, uh, yes, I see. I believe Dr. Fang is expecting you. Let's get you checked in and registered, shall we? Okay, okay. so today is... Hmm, yes. And the time... Right. Okay, your name? Kina. Got it. And your classification? Okay, great. That just about covers it. You're all checked in. Dr. Fang will be waiting for you downstairs at the treatment center. Head over and introduce yourself. On your way, feel free to say hi to my sisters Echo and Aiko downstairs. It's their first day and they're a bit nervous. Working as vendors for the UNDC is a big step up for them. Feel free to say hello. That's it for now. If I can be of any further assistance, feel free to come back and see me. Thank you, Iku. Great! Ooh, new cosmetic reward. Nice. Welcome, cadet. Oh, hello. My name is Dr. Jiang Li Fang. I oversee the physical and psychological well-being of our new cadets. We're working under the jurisdiction of the United Nations Defense Council, or UNDC for short. It is their efforts in Project War Maiden that has allowed us to run trials on willing candidates, such as yourself, to pinpoint and manipulate genes, elevating you to metahuman status, or what we'd like to call beyond human. 
Is that what I am? Your physical, psychological, and intellectual attributes. Yes. Compared to the average woman, you are stronger, faster, smarter, and more resilient. My name is Dr. Jiang Li Fang. I, we're working on it is there, or what we'd like to call when it comes compared. Sure. The procedure only seems to have been effective on a limited number of candidates. All female. Mm. Consider yourself as being one of the lucky ones. Hell yeah. Look at me. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, cadet. There's a few requirements before you run off and fight the bad guys. But when you're done here, you'll report to Major Frost. She's better suited to answer that question. This is what I can tell you. As a cadet, you are to continue your training under the supervision of instructors, as I follow your physical and psychological development. As soon as I deem you ready for active duty, you'll be a part of the Freedom City Rescue Recon. Understood. Great. Let's get you to lie down on the bed for your first treatment. Treatment? Yes. These treatment beds are designed to administer your dosage of tea, or Tessagenex, a serum designed to help your body adapt as it evolves. The human body isn't built to withstand such a rapid pace of development. Tessagenex helps with the transition. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not afraid of needles. <laughs> not to worry, though. The robotic administration is calibrated for precision. Besides... You're a superhero, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for today's session. This is all you're going to get to see for now. I am absolutely thrilled to play more of this game, and I hope you all are too. By the time this video comes out, uh, it will be probably one day away from when I can actually stream it. So head over to twitch.tv slash black only to see this streamed live to see what happens next. Uh -huh. But with that said, I'll see y'all next time. Game on. Black Oni out.